All right, guys. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm gonna go over just a quick demonstration of how I have my kayak set up on this uh, kayak dolly um, trolley, whatever you want to call it. Um, I bought it from from a, a website called Vever.com. It's V E V O R dot uh, com. It was 109 bucks, and from what it looks like, it's probably one of the best investments I've made as far as a, a kayak uh, dolly goes. I mean, I've done DIY carts before. Um, I have uh, another cart at the house that was given to me. Um, but a buddy of mine who's actually rigging up right now down there um, told me that they make these. So I ended up looking into it and I bought one, 110 bucks. So the way I have it set up right now is I had the kayak backwards. So there's these two little pads right here. And then there's two other pads right there. I had the kayak sitting backwards um, only because I feel like it's gonna make it easier for the launch. Um, and I don't have to worry about it when it's facing forwards that the uh, transducer, which is mounted under my kayak, um, will hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing in and show you guys how it works. And then when I'm done fishing, I'll do a uh, video on how to retrieve it. So let's see how this goes. First time I'm using this too. I also have a rope tied onto the uh, um, right here on my rudder, so that way once I dump it in the water, I'm able to quickly retrieve the kayak. So let's see how this goes. whole point of this is for me to not get wet but it looks like I might have to uh, change my shoes and get in the water just a tad so I'm gonna pause this video real quick all right so I had to go put on my water shoes we're gonna try this again so looks like I'm gonna have to get a little wet suggestion if it's colder like right now it's only like 48 degrees out here I'm sure the water temperature is obviously a lot warmer um, but maybe wear waders or um, boots that are gonna be tall enough for you to get in the water. I just have these water shoes on and pants, but I'm just gonna pull my pants up a bit. I shouldn't have to get in too far. So, all right, let's try this again. I got my pants pulled up above my knees and uh, let's try to roll this bad boy in there now. that nice little shock of how cold this water is here in a second. All right, so now it's off. And all I have to do is boom, wheel this back in and I'm done. Kayaks in the water, simple as that. Throw my rope up there and I'm done. This is awesome. This definitely makes your uh, dumping the kayak in the water so much easier. So stay tuned to the second part of when I do the retrieval. Also, now that I have this thing off, this breaks down into three sections, four sections. Um, as you can see, there's pins that I have right here. Uh, hopefully I'm getting it on camera. Pin there, pin here, and a pin down at the bottom. This is how quick this thing breaks down. So pin number one, and that's actually what I did after. I bought these pins, came with bolts, but there's pipe number one is out. And just put the pin back in. That water actually wasn't that cold. Pin number two is out. that back in there and pin number three out pop that in there like that 
and now this can be stored right in your truck um, no problems or anything like that whether you have a tailgate or whatever um, you can put it in the bed of your truck or even in the back seats so just make sure you get all the water out of the pipes all right and that's the brand Vever look at that guys full moon We've got a full moon there we got a beautiful sunrise getting ready to come up down there and then we got Matt with traveling fish he's got the same concept that's who I got it from he did his own little DIY but Matt how much do you love this rig on dropping these kayaks in the water it, uh, it's a nice thing. not only on taking it off but also retrieving it right Boom, already in the water, done. That's great. And now we can get out and fish, right? Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna do the retrieval with using the uh, kayak trailer. So literally just gotta walk kayak out into the water just a bit. I got obviously plenty of rope. And drop this bad boy in there. So obviously the tires float. So I'm gonna have to do what you do and step down. On the uh, there we go. And now I can just pull this thing right on up. Pretty simple. And that's it. Kayaks out. Pull it up the ramp and you're good to go. 